for today's NJTV News question. Do you think inmates should be given the opportunity to obtain a college degree while incarcerated? Share your thoughts with us on our Facebook page or tweet us. I absolutely believe they should. If our goal is to get them back into society, they're going to need that. If there was research that showed the money spent in obtaining a college degree for an inmate resulted in lower future costs, then yes, I would, I, I would say maybe, maybe that would be okay. The more education, the better it prepares them for life outside. New Jersey's lifeblood flows through the transportation grid, and there's a coming crash. The Transportation Trust to fund bridges and road repairs runs dry June 30th. NJ Transit's depleted operating budget, supplanted by the take from turnpike tolls, could also run dry in June, and its unionized transit workers could strike as soon as March. To walk us through the mire is NJ Trans's former deputy executive director and the founding director of the Alan Voorhees Transportation Center, Martin Robbins. As always, I'm glad you're here. Oh, thank you very much. How close are we to a solution to the Transportation Trust Fund? Well, maybe. Uh, I think that the legislature, the legislative leaders, have a good, very good idea of what they want to propose. 25 cent gas tax. Yes. Yes, and they're just quarreling about or discussing some details there. Still going to be a tough sell. But it will be a tough sell. And it's, the trouble is, is that it doesn't seem to seek in, sink in to the public about what's needed. Uh, we are so far behind in terms of, of uh, financing transportation capital that the 25 cents is inescapable. And because uh, we've, we've really shortchanged transportation capital for at least a, a decade or more. And the longer we put this off, the, the more, more... The more is needed in order to... Because there's a couple of different factors. One is Mother Nature uh, has an effect on uh, uh, public facilities, wears them out. They have to be mo uh, modernized and, and uh, improved. And then the second part of it is, is that New Jersey has an economy that constantly changes and people's needs change. And the transportation system has to anticipate those or at least catch up. And that, doesn't, and, and that hasn't been happening enough with the limited amount of money that we have. The ARC tunnel, the famous ARC tunnel, was canceled. And since then, uh, the Turnpike Authority has been giving toll money to NJ Transit to supplant their budget. I, I was surprised to, to see that the NJ Transportation operating budget was cut by 90% from 300 million to 30 million. How did that happen? Well, the, the way it happened was the two things uh, interacted. The governor took money from the uh, Turnpike Authority and supplanted the general fund as a principal way by which the, the New Jersey Transit would, uh, would, would g gain operating assistance. And uh, when, by doing that, it it, it made it, uh, it well, it, it, it put New Jersey Transit in a very, very vulnerable position because the Turnpike money is only good for uh, through uh, this June, and then it's, it could stop. There's some indication that maybe a portion of it, less than 50 percent, may be coming to New Jersey Transit, but it's going to leave a huge budget deficit, and the governor has stopped using the general fund, and so the whole budget is... Uh, con uh, constructed around that assumption. So New Jersey Transit is in an extraordinarily difficult position. And now they're fixing a, a union worker strike. Right. The union workers have not had a contract in five years. Uh, it's all part of the same piece. A lot of things have been pushed off, like uh, the, the proper funding of New Jersey Transit operations. The labor negotiations, are, in the case of rail, are now five years after the expiration of the, the contract. With that comes uh, the threat of lot, not only a threat of a strike, but the threat of lots of retroactive pay that's going to be incorporated in any, any settlement, either uh, be, before a strike or after a strike. That's going to have a, entail a lot of financial responsibility for New Jersey Transit to make matters worse in this year. Is a gas tax enough to fund the Transportation Trust Fund, help the operating budget of NJ Transit, you're shaking your head already, no. and pay what inevitably is going to be union no. wage hikes? The way New Jersey has constructed its funding of transportation, 
capital that comes from the transportation trust fund is restricted so that it does not go into the operating budget. There's always been an argument about that, yeah. and it is strictly uh, uh, there's very limited amount of that money that goes into the operating budget. So what you have is a separate stream of revenue that has been toyed with for the last five years that is now seriously in jeopardy. What I'm hearing is doom, Dr. Doom. <laughs> I have been <laughs> very worried for many, many months as we approach this moment. In time. Let's change the subject. <laughs> the, the new Gateway Tunnel, the yes. Gateway Development Corporation has been formed and NJ Transit doesn't have a seat at the table. What does that mean to you? I'm worried about that. I, I can't figure out why that has happened. Uh, it seems to me that NJ Transit is such a dominant operator, particularly where the new tunnels are going to be involved. Uh, it, it operates uh, at least 80%, uh, while Amtrak operates less than 20%, and yet NJ Transit is not at the table. It doesn't make sense to me. I wish they had constructed it differently. I'm waiting to see how it really all plays out. Maybe it will be acceptable, but I'm, I'm worried about that. Very quickly, your advice to the new, whoever it is, NJ Transit Executive Director. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Call me. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be a very difficult period. I mean, at least the gateway thing has been sort of settled. That at least is one major issue off the table. But the other ones that we were talking about, the strike, the uh, operating budget and right. the and the and the uh, transportation trust fund those are all nail biters and they're going to have a their outcome will have a tremendous effect on the on, on the sanity of the next executive director <laughs> thanks for being here martin robbins <laughs> thank you